Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how and why to use Unity's rich text feature. Uh, and just before I start, I'm obviously going to say that this isn't the only way you can have, uh, you know, bold, colored, italics, like in the middle of text. Obviously, um, by default, Unity's text component allows you to make your text uh, element bold or italics or a color. But the difference is this is how to do it so that parts of the same text object change and the benefit is you can obviously do this in code as well to change different parts however you want and I'll um, show you how to do it and I'll give one example of real use of it. Uh, I want to start by saying thanks to Paul Robinson and Football, my uh, donators on Patreon if anyone wants to help support the link is in the description below. Thank you. So uh, yeah as you see this looks a bit odd doesn't it we've got bold n, uh, ew, then we've got blue te and italics x and then um, a red t. Now um, by default, you can't actually do this um, just with the normal text thing. Well, I have got the normal text element. I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Um, the rich text part of um, the text component is built in. Uh, it seems like a, it's almost like a HTML looking thing with the tags uh, around the characters. So obviously it says um, size equals 30, N, and then size, and that means that N is big. And then EW is bold. Sorry, I did have this bold, yeah. And then um, color blue. TE color yeah so you can see obviously it looks pretty simple to do it's a bit awkward to do and it's a bit annoying if you have to manually type it out every time and so on um, for something you might want specific you know it's better to that because you can't just like this is the just the color all right this is an override so whatever you set here will be the same for everything except from stuff you've changed in that code there um, obviously there's other things in here like font size yeah obviously you can do font size uh, as you see, it still overrides it. Um, it sets it to 30 regardless of what this is. So obviously if this is 30, then it's the exact same. But as you go higher, then the rest gets bigger and smaller, the other ones. Um, and there's the normal stuff. You probably can't change line spacing in there. It wouldn't make sense to, but there's plenty of stuff you can change. Um, you can change, you can make it bold, italics. You can make uh, change the size and the color. Um, they're, they're the main things you can do. And there's different ways to use it. Uh, you can use it with GUI tags, which I like never use, and I don't unless someone says a good reason to use them. I don't understand why you'd use them. I guess there might be some situations, but I, I just use normal text components. Uh, I guess the benefit of a GUI label is that you don't need a text element in the scene. As far as I'm aware, it just kind of writes it on the screen. I think it's like an overlay on top of everything on the scene, uh, on the UI, sorry. But anyway, um, this part is obviously very quick, just saying, you know, Here's how you do it. You know, you just write these words and put some numbers in or whatever to make your text how you want it. But um, you don't want to have to write that every time, you know, it's a bit painful. So maybe you have some text that you want to, um, I don't know, you, you have some text and you want it to change the color depending on a particular number or something, you know, maybe you want to change that. Well, let's let's have that then. So what I'm going to do is I'll give an example. Let's say in games you might have um, stats, right? So you might have some item stats on the left, um, and then on the right you might have some other item stats. The one like maybe hovering on a new item. And what you want is you want to dis uh, display to the player the difference in stats. That's quite easy. You know, you just get one value, you get the other value, subtract it, and you get the difference. But the thing is, it's always nice clarity-wise and like. People just expect this as a norm because the games usually do it. Uh, as well as saying just the two numbers that are different, it'll say the difference. And then the color of the difference is usually, well, different, you know? So the normal text might be white or black or gray or whatever your normal text color is. And then um, in brackets afterwards, you might have a like up arrow or a plus um, three if it's, you know, three better in green. Or you might have a, you know, minus four if it's, if you're losing four in that in red. So maybe dynamically you want in the code to change the color of a part of font, the color of a part of font, sorry, um, by determining, you know, what the numbers are. So let's just write a really quick script to do that. You know, this isn't a long video. It's just something simple. But, you know, a lot of people don't know about this, and I didn't find out about it re till recently. I just thought you would have to either get an add-on, like an external, like, third-party thing from the asset store, uh, or get, like, the, um, the text mesh pro thing that Unity kind of owns but like I get well they do own it but I I not really used it enough to um be confident with it yet. Uh, I've heard there's quite a few bugs of it but you know I can look into it. But anyway so what we'll do is we'll put a script on our canvas. I've just got an empty script here and we can just say we want to be using the UI engine because obviously wait unity engine.ui because it's all related to the UI. And we have um 
the text component we're using. So let's just um, serialize field uh, private text, and we'll just call it, um, I don't know, text to change. Um, so what do we want to do on the start method? Well, let's, we could just put in our string that we want. Um, yeah, so we'll have um, void start. We'll also take in a uh, private string um, desired text um, because we could just write our text into the text field but then obviously when we add tags it's going to actually change that string there so we wanted to know what our desired text is and we want to work with that so we can say um, text to change dot text is equal to desired text so that's just the start so um, what we can do is we can just set this up quickly so if we give it a second uh, desired text here and then drag that in whoops wrong part drag that in and press play and then it should just display here on the screen that's what we expected okay and then let's say what we can do now is we can have it be well let's enter a number how about that so string desired text um, Let's have a an integer for, um, for example, current stat value and new stat value. So obviously, I'm showing you the example that I would do, use. So um, that's the desired stat name, I guess. Um, now what we want to do is we want to um, take this string actually. What we'll do is we'll just edit this. We'll just do it all in the start function because there's nothing else we actually need to do in terms of updating it. Though you might want to have a button or a function that updates it during runtime. Like maybe if the stat changes, you want to change that. Um, so rather than just setting the text at the start, we'll we'll build the text. So we want to say um, string. So we'll store a string here called um, output string and we'll just set it equal to an empty string and then what we're going to do is we're going to add to that string so first of all we want to say uh well actually we'll start off the output string being equal to the desired name um and then we can add to that because it might as well just do it in one line so we can say output string plus equals and now you can add other characters right and whatever you add when you add to a string it just adds the characters on the end so um what we want to do is we want to store an integer uh, saying stat difference, whoops, stat difference um, is equal to, and then we can say um, new stat the value minus current stat value, okay? Because we want to know how much better or worse our new stat one is. So if this is like five attack, this is the current one is three attack. It's going to say five minus three, which is two, so it's going to be positive. So we've gained two. So we can say um, if stat difference is greater than zero, do this. Else, if stat difference is less than zero, do this. Now, the reason you wouldn't just write else is because if it's equal to zero, we only want less than or greater than. If it's equal to zero, we don't really want to do anything because we, we don't, uh, sorry, we don't want to have a plus or a minus saying that we've uh, gained or lost any. You know, we just have the same value. M maybe you would have a different symbol or different option if it's the same stat. Um, I, I don't know maybe you'd write the word same but mo most games would just have nothing so if the stat difference is greater than zero we want to say output string let, let's just get rid of this here um, we want to say output string plus equals um, and then I'll form my string here I've already mentioned this in a video before I think uh, with the oh, actually I don't know if I've got it enabled well, actually it's not telling me there's anything wrong so it should work um, it's to do with the version of uh, C sharp in Visual Studio has this or it doesn't have this. You don't have to have this. It's just the way I like to do strings. I'll explain in a second for those who haven't seen it. But what we want is we want our current name. Then we want a space afterwards so I can just put a space. And then um, we can say uh, bracket. And then let's say, for example, you know, it's greater than thingy, so we'll say plus three. Now, obviously, instead of three, we want to say plus um, stat difference, right? 
so yeah it's not giving me any errors so it should work uh, so we can say hey plus stat difference now we actually want this to be in green this this whole bit we want to be green because it's a it's an increase so all we have to do is we have to say um, open thingy color equals now you can either put in a hex code so like a hashtag whatever whatever but green is default so let's just write green uh, whoops equals green close and then on the other side here we can say slash color now I'm British I write color with a U but because this is an American company or it's using the American spelling system we have to write color like color like that um, that probably won't be a problem for most of you since the majority of my um, audience is actually American anyway but hey so output string take the current name so if that's like attack or whatever armor whatever value it is um, then it's gonna say that stat value space open bracket plus the difference in green and then we can say else output string plus equals and then we can say um, so dollar thingy I'll explain it in a second space color equals red and then we can say minus uh, stat difference bracket and then slash color now I've purposely made a mistake there some of you might have noticed I'll explain in a second um, you can try guess what the problem is already it's with this line here um, it's not like a game breaking problem it's just a visual problem and I'll explain why in a second but then once we've done this we want to say text to change dot text so the text component we have to set it equal to a string so it's our output string that we've now formed so the thing I was on about so first of all how does this work well the dollar sign just indicates the start of this special string and how it works is you just write it like a normal string in between here you can have spaces as string characters you can have any of this is all string keep in mind it actually reads this string and interprets it as a you know a special case it like, doesn't actually just write color equal screen to the screen it'll uh, treat that as if it's an actual command and then uh, this is just normal bracket plus and then in between squiggly brackets you can write variable you can write code basically so long as that code is a string or you know an integer that can be interpreted as a string instead of actually writing dot uh, to string it actually does it for you it basically uh, it can write that to the screen it's fine so you can just put in the integer here so instead of writing plus space stat difference plus space you know it's just like nicer to write it like that um, and you can also write other variables in there you can write code to execute in there so you can like call a function that returns a string or an integer or whatever it's all nice and it makes it green then the um, problem here that I was on about I had this in my own game until I you know immediately realized why think if you have a positive number right like five you know you put plus five it'll output plus five but when you have negative numbers negative five it'll say negative negative five it'll have two negative symbols because the value negative five has the negative symbol before it so you don't actually have to put that there basically is what I'm trying to say you just have that number because obviously when you write positive numbers you never write you know plus three you just write three when you write negative you have to indicate that it's negative because we assume by default numbers are positive unless told otherwise so that is fine that is good to go as far as I'm aware so let's have a look so what I can say is I can say desired stat name strength um, and I can just say current stat value we're on 10 strength and this new item gives us 15 strength okay so it can display strength plus 5 okay because the difference is plus 5 it's green now if I say oh the new one's actually uh, 7 for example the new stat value is 7 it's gonna say well it's negative so we've lost 3 and it's in red so I think that's pretty cool to be honest um, as I said this video wasn't very long um, that's just an example obviously you can use this how you want um, the documentation I'll link in the description for the rich text so you can look at just some there's not much documentation on it, it's pretty simple um, obviously yeah, you can use bold italics so bold is um, B like that and then you close it with a slash B so it's the same as HTML um, it won't let me close it because it's I'm running it and I'm writing it in the code part uh, you can write the so you can put size equals and a number like color equals red here so yeah um, obviously it's uh, useful it's not like you know gonna make your game 10 million times better but you know there might be parts where you want this and you don't need to get an external add-on to do this um, 
Obviously, if anyone's got any other requests or um, suggestions for video ideas, then feel free to leave them below. I, you know, I'm taking any suggestions. Going to keep making videos, hopefully daily, daily as often as I can, at least. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already liked, subscribe. It'd mean a lot. Help me on Patreon if you can. Uh, Discord link is in the description below. And apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.